Hey guys, AJ with Relentless Racing. Welcome back to the channel. Have you guys ever put a bad alternator into your car when you were building it? Well, I did it once and I swear that I will never ever do it again. So today we're gonna to be talking about how to check your alternator. This alternator is from my K20A2 and it came straight out of a car that I found that was wrecked. So there's some connections on the back and of course you'll have to make sure that all the connections are good. And one of the things I like to do is I kind of like to check the bearing. And what I do is I just kind of sit it like this and I spin it and you'll hear it if the bearing's bad. And this thing obviously spins smooth, so it's okay. So first of all, let's go check in a car and see what it does when you turn on the alternator with a voltmeter. Let's use my Acura Integra for an example. Okay, here we are at my Acura Integra and I have my meter here, and you can see my battery. And so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna test this thing, assuming that you've got a meter. We're gonna turn our meter on and then we're gonna put it on voltage for direct current. The line and the little dash lines right here, that stands for direct current. And that's what we're dealing with right now. So just take your ground, attach it to the battery, take the hot side and connect it to the hot side of the battery. And then let's see what type of voltage we're putting out. So the voltage is 12.95 volts. So if the battery, I'm sorry, if the alternator is working properly, when we start this puppy up, that voltage should go up between 14.2 to 14.7 volts. Let's see here. So we're just gonna start her up. All right, let's come around here. Let's see what type of voltage we've got going on here. So obviously the car's running, and look at that. 14.39, 14.4, that's excellent. So that obviously means that the battery's working. So that's one way to test it. Now keep in mind that if there's an issue, it could be a wiring issue. So you wanna check all your connections at the battery and check all your connections at the alternator. So let's just say that you don't have a meter. What do you do? So that means that we don't have these guys. So let's take these things off. The alternator is charging the battery right now. So if the alternator is truly working, if you remove the positive side, this guy right here, while the car is running, it should still stay running. And so what happens is the voltage regulator thinks, oh, the battery's dead and it'll start charging all on its own. And it should be enough to run the car. So let's check that out next. Okay, so now we're here at the battery and the vehicle is running. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my 10 millimeter and I'm gonna be careful not to touch any steel. And I'm gonna loosen this guy right here. Can you hear the motor running? Let's rev it real quick. Where is the throttle? Here it is. You can hear revving right there. So I loosen this guy. If I remove this thing and the alternator is working properly, the car should still remain running. Notice the car still remaining running and I've taken this cable off. If you have a bad alternator, this will not work. The car will shut down as soon as you remove this cable. And let's put that back on. Again, be careful not to touch anything and ground out your wrench because that'll make it look ugly. Okay, so now let's say that the alternator is out of the car, like mine. So if it's out, just take it over to the AutoZone and they're gonna test it. What you'll do is you'll go to the counter, say, hey, I wanna test my alternator. They're gonna ask what kind of car it came out of, and I'm gonna tell them it's a 2004 Acura RSX Type S. Then they'll find out which connector goes onto it, take it over to the tester, put a belt onto it, and then they'll actually test it. They'll obviously connect the electric to it as well. Here's what the machine looks like. It looks like they punch in a number right here. And then this is the upper rest where they hook it up. They probably put another belt on here, put one edge on here, and then it applies tension to it, and then it starts running it. Well, it looks like the alternator failed its test. So this one's bad, but that's not a problem. So we'll end up buying a remanufactured one, and what's cool about that is it'll be super clean. All right, this is AJ with Relentless Racing. Thanks again for watching. 
stay relentless, and I'll see you guys on the track.